Before we start this 3D Machines production, there are only four days left to the giveaway, you guys. Only four days. Go to 3dmachines.co or machineworks.com. What's up machine freaks, hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh. I am currently spray painting inside so my mind isn't working very good. But I've been painting this cover for the Honda. We have to do some work to the Gator. The KTM is done and we, I definitely want to use this today, but I'd never want to clean it again until the giveaway because cleaning these things, because first of all, it's called a dirt bike. There's a reason why they call it a dirt bike. <laughs> It gets dirty. Don't really feel like cleaning it back up after riding it. So uh, I'm just not a cleaning, I'm not a detailer. How's that? I bought oil for the Duramax yesterday. I have yet to put this in here. So let's get to this first. to say that yesterday the Duramax got some attention and we got the bumper busted out that's currently painted however I want to do some more on that I told you guys that yesterday this dent came out pretty good I mean considering I'm not a dent specialist I mean did a pretty good job now it's just uh I'm not sure if that's just clear coat missing or if that's paint missing as well gator time gator time everyone loves gator time I want to install this let's make sure this fits this is a, a copper piece we currently have a plastic T. I mean, it's capped off. It's just not the proper way to do it. So I want to use this. However, plumbing stuff, you see how that's a one inch by one inch? Plumbing stuff is measured differently than like hoses and stuff. So the three quarters I thought was too small. The one inch should work. And if not, we can always buy a different one. That paint is screwing me up though. I'm not even kidding. Instigator! This is the Oil Catch KM2000 with an extra funnel because that funnel is very purposeful. tell you what the cooling system will be extremely clean because we flushed this probably by the third time now we've just been using water because we know we're gonna you know this isn't completely dialed in at this point so stuff like this you know you don't want to be going through $15 worth of cooling each time and then with taxes $16 Aha, see I was right house I'm taking the pressure washer she needs that I'm happy to say the Duramax is running extremely well on its brand new oil she appreciates it don't jail us in so I'm at my hundred acres right now and as you guys know I bought this about a year ago I think I bought it in June of 2018 so it's probably about 15 months 16 months since I bought it but then I didn't take it over until I think July or like the beginning of August now here's a random like weird fact. When we were clearing some stuff out for like this area here, this is the original wood. We have yet to have it burn yet. Like literally it rains here so frequently that this stuff gets wet and plus it was green. Like this is still the same wood. I'm trying to finally get rid of it. So I guess the Duramax's oil change came in handy. 
That's the only thing that's getting this thing to light. All right, so hunting season's coming up. I have my spray paint can, as you can see. I just want to label some stuff so that way it's more convenient. Say if Jake comes up or my buddy uh, Dakota comes up to hunt, they kind of know where to stay in. The, the border of the property does have blue around it. However, at the, the road where I am, it's not very, it's not painted well. So I kind of want to fix that. This far in my paint journey, I kind of am regretting selling the three-wheeler. We no longer have the ETC, no longer have the Big Red 200, and I no longer have my Bruin, my 2005 Bruin 350 made by Yamaha. My uh, first four-wheeler, well, like first brand new four-wheeler ever. I was in fifth grade when I got it. Crush is down to three wheels. The KTM, don't want to dirty that up. And then the Honda, it doesn't have a wheel as you guys saw. So with that fleet, I guess I could drive the Duramax. I'm on the freaking road, but I'm going to get into the woods here soon anyways. So that's where we're at. Really regretting selling the, at least my Bruin at this point in time. Still got diesel. Diesel take you anywhere. front of the gator off so I can paint it as you can see the base here is etched so now it's ready for paint and primer I'm hoping that the pressure washer tears off that yellow line because yellow won't really go with this machine anymore we're going with a key lime green and gloss black that's what you guys voted on that's what we're gonna do out here though we just got some mail we got some Maxxis tires we got all tires for both dirt bikes both the KTM and the Honda we're gonna be dialed, man. We are going to be dialed. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Maxis. Let's see what we got for rubber. So what do we got here? We have a, oh, so we got a Max Cross SI 110 90 19, a 110 118, and it looks like our two front tires here. So this is the one we're on the hunt for right here. This should definitely do up the Honda and make it extremely braptastic. So I have the new tire on, however the first tube popped. I, I don't know, I, I just really dig popping the first tube. It's like one of my fantasies. Like it, usually, I don't even put them in the back of the tube. I just throw them on the dartboard, throw darts at them, and then that way I can put the second one on order. So once that second one comes in, then we'll put that in there. But this one, the front tire, I don't really feel like trying to pop this one, so hopefully we don't. And uh, we'll put another Maxxis tire and dial the Honda in further. So I figured I'd make the front one match the back one, and I popped that tube as well. Now Jake's not very good at popping tubes, so it might not be very efficient if I go ahead and put the KTM tires on. I think I'm going to try to reach out to Jake the Toilet Snake and have him do the KTM ones. So that way we don't have to get all new tubes. I guess tires just aren't my forte. The Honda is sitting right here on idle because it doesn't have a back tire currently and it doesn't have that clutch cover because I'm painting that. You saw that in the garage. Other than that though, we do have the new number plate. This number plate is cracked as you can see. I actually have two new number plates because the the first one I bought came cracked and then they they sent me a second one. Does that front piece look good? I also got this little rubber grommet here for the brake. Now I'm going to replace the handle grips. It's crazy how those details can add up. Check these out, these things are awesome. They got gears in them, made in the US of A. Check these things out, you guys, they look sick. Yeah, I feel bittersweet about this whole situation. Like, I'm going to be giving away one of these things. For you that don't know, I do plan on shipping one of you guys out here. Shipping one of you guys out. Flying one of you guys out here, and then shipping one of these items that you choose to your house so you don't have to worry about anything. Come out, hang out with Seth, Jake and I, we'll have a grand time. I do miss the three-wheeler and I do miss my Bruin, but I'm excited to get these things done, move on to something new. 
and continue to have a good time. All the wheels to the Gator are done and they look extremely fly. The holy shit handle's done, that's just gotta be bolted on. Wheels will go on so that'll make it look good. Just gotta pressure wash this stuff off, put our decal kit on, get this rust out of here, get that rust out of here. The uh, Honda cover came up pretty good, so that's, that's moving forward. Stay tuned, you guys are not gonna wanna miss the Instigator's final reveal. <laughs>